oh hello is chidalu here again so um in this particular video i'm going to be talking about how to trade on a centralized exchange and for example i'm going to be using binance all right i'm going to be using binance i'm going to call it binance i'm going to call it binance all right so we are going to be learning how to um trade on a centralized exchange now before we go into that understand something that there are there are two types of traders right right there are two types of traders one of there are two types of people who who trade crypto right number one traders all right and then the second one is called investors all right traders and investors some call it day trading right day traders and investors day traders are usually people who trade futures futures is it looks almost like like forex all right it is not advisable for for newbies but the the investor side of crypto is where you 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 buy a coin right you buy a coin or you buy a token for the longer term six months yeah six months four months one year and so in fact some people even hold you do you know that there are some people who have been holding bitcoin since 2011 2012 2013 from that time till 2024 right is a long time so you know that this one is actually a crypto investor not necessarily a day trader not here for quick gains all right so that is by the way now if you want to trade on a centralized exchange like binance right so i'm going to be explaining the interface that you are looking at first before we before we get started all right so if you open binance right or if you open most of the centralized exchange this is what they look like all right so if you open uh it here you will see the popular coins all right or the coins that are making waves at the moment that's why you are seeing bnb btc eth sheep pep and xes sec sorry all right so this is like this is what the interface looks like all right this is what the interface looks like let me explain what you are seeing at the top here where you see uh, a search box right you can you can click on it and find the coin if, let's say you have a particular coin in mind you can click on it and actually you know um do whatever you want to do there all right but if you open binance or if you open open any other centralized exchange this is most of them have the same interface so i will just be using this one then any other one you open you can figure it out yourself just i need you to understand what all of them all the the icons or or the yeah the icons mean so that you know how to find your way around it and please when you open a centralized exchange, if you are new to this just explore the the apps a bit so that because it's not everything that i will be able to cover and there are some things you can explore yourself there are some things i explored myself that my mentor did not show to me okay so um this is home right this is like where you see everywhere down here you can see home market trade here home market here um trade you can see it has changed right this is markets you see all the markets that are there markets then trade this is where you want to trade a particular coin when you want to buy or sell a particular coin then futures right this is the the part that looks like forex where you deal on leveraging and so and so on and so forth this is the part where i talked about that looks like forex all right this is futures and then this is your wallet which is every every coin you are holding the, both the coin the amount of the coin the monetary value of the coin and so on and so forth all right you can see this one showing 70 75 dollars here all right this is what i have in binance right now all right so so um this is this is it this is it all right so let's say for instance okay let me let me this is because basically this is what you are going to be working with now look up here where I, i've clicked on trade and you can see the interface has changed it knows i want to trade all right now see the top here make sure it is showing spot trading all right spot trading is what investors use not futures spot trading is what investors use you can buy a corner and wait for it 
for the forces of demand and supply to make the price of that coin increase all right and then you can sell all right so i want to give an example i want to explain what you are seeing here so let us assume that i want to sell i don't have some okay this is the usdt i was talking about all right this is the usdt i was talking about here 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 um let me let me look for it usdt Okay, um, BNB, you can see it here, right? You can see it here. So let's say I want to, let's say I want to see the chart first, right? This is how you see, this is where you see the progress of a particular coin. All right, and you can change the time frame, 15 minutes time frame, one hour time frame, four hours. You want to know, so each of this, let's, it is at four hours time frame now. So you want, every, what it's showing you is that, every single bar here that you are seeing carries four hours of information all right so at this hour at this at this um let me change it to one hour right it is telling me that at this particular hour that i'm speaking bnb is trading at 420 usdt usdt is pegged to dollar right so if you say one usdt right it's just as if you are saying bm bnb right is equal to one dollar so it means one bnb right now is 420 dollars you can see the price here you can see the price fluctuating here so it is trading somewhere along 421 or 420 us dollars but in crypto you call it usdt all right you call it usdt so it is showing that some hours ago it was trading at 200 and you can like i said each of these bar is carrying one one hour right each of these bar is carrying one one hour of information right you want to know what a particular coin has been doing in the last in the last um in an hour all right so if i put it to a day i want to know what it has been you can see it, it has rallied up i have put it on a daily time frame so you can see that it has rallied up there was a time when there was a few days maybe last week or so it was trading at 287 dollars per one 227 us dollars per one bnb now what is this bnb i'm talking about bnb is the native token of binance this particular app that i'm using they have their own coin called binance so most times if you want to do anything that concerns this particular app you may be needing some bnb you may be needing some binance coin all right you may be needing some binance coin right bnb has its own blockchain all right they have it has its own blockchain and the, and their own coin their native token right is called um bnb all right so that is it all right that is it so um i have some bnb so let me show you how to i have some bnb so let me show you let's say i want to i want to sell which means i want to exchange now understand something that you, we we buy and sell coins against one another all right i have some bnb right i want to sell it against us dollars which means i want to give out my bnb and i want to get some usdt i want to get some us dollars but us dollars in crypto do you understand so now i want to sell right like i said i have um some i have little bnb in this particular let me see how many i have okay you can see it, it i have zero point you can see it i have zero point zero five one nine zero three five one bnb all right like i like i told you in one of my pre if you have not watched my previous video some of my previous videos go back and watch them right remember in one of the videos i said that you can actually get a piece of a particular coin it is not necessary that you must get a full coin it is not because a full bnb right now is selling at 421 dollars that you saw all right but you could you could buy some part of it you could you could buy 0. 
five of it you could buy 0 0.1 of it you could buy, like just like that like that right now you can see that i have 0 0.05 watt of it all right which amounted to 21 dollars so if you do the math even if you do the mathematics in your calculator you see that 0 0 0.05 of 421 dollars is about 21 dollars right so i want to swap this bnb for i want to trade this bnb for usdt all right so i've clicked on spot all right is it i click on spot from your wallet side right or you click on trade right and then click on sell remember i'm trying to sell right so whether you're buying or selling just pay attention to what i'm about to say all right whether you're buying or you're selling now look at this place where it says limits right limits means that the current price has not reached that place let's say let's say i want to sell when the when the price of of bnb reaches 500 remember it is at 421 now that i'm making this video but let's say i want to sell my bnb when the price of bnb has reached 500 dollars that's when i use a limit a limit order all right so if you click where it is written limits right you will see market you will still you will see stop limit trailing stop oco right but most times i use limit or i use market right market means at the that you want the market to 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 take place you want your transaction to take place at the current market price that you are seeing all right you want your transaction to take place at the current market price that you are seeing do you understand so right now this is what i am doing right right now this is what i'm doing i want to sell my bnb at the current market price all right at the current market price you can actually do you can actually wait for a price you can you can do that for the for the buying side too let's assume i want to buy i don't have usdt to buy bnb if not i would have showed you an example of it so that's why i'm using the sell example all right so i want to sell and i want it to say i want to sell my bnb at the current market price of 421 or 420 because remember people are trading this market right now so that's why the price is actually fluctuating you see 421 you see 422 you see 420 and so on and so forth all right it shows you that people are actually trading this market that's why they, like i said this crypto is actually it depends so much on the forces of demand and supply all right people are demanding it people are supplying it and that's why the price is fluctuating all right so you can see it it has showed me here market price you can see it's market price now i can decide to sell all my bnb right i just have to drag this this thing you can see it is showing um two percent 24 or 25 percent 50 percent 75 percent 100 percent this 100 percent means that i want to sell all my bnb right i want to sell all my bnb you can see it, it has shown the, the total amount of bnb that i have 0 0.051 all right let's say i want to sell half of my bnb right let's say i want to sell half of my bnb all right let's say i want to sell half of my bnb look at it all right it has showed 0 0.025 which is half that i want to sell you can actually use your hand and, and type the amount you want to on any coin on any coins not just bnb on any coin that you want to buy or you want to sell you can actually put in the figures that you want you can actually put in the figures that you want all right so but in my own case, I want to sell everything. So I'm just quickly going to drag this to the end, like just as you have seen. And then I'm going to click on sell BNB. All right. Once I click on sell BNB, you will see that it will just automatically swap, sell your BNB and give you some USDT at that particular market price. You can see the value of it. They are showing me that the value of my 0 0.051 BNB is 21.82 something something dollars. I hope it makes sense the same thing for buy all right the same thing for buy you can write here i want to let's say you have like 100 usdt right now you want to you want to um you want to use 50 dollars right or you want to use 16 dollars so you, the least amount you can even 
you can even trade on is is 10 right it's 10 it's 10 usdg that you can trade at least i think that was what that's what that's the least binance um permits not just been as so, so many of them all right so you can actually come here and impute the amount that you want you can see as i'm increasing the number of of usdt it is showing me the the amount of bnb right here it is showing me the amount of bnb that this amount has but if i click on it if i click on buy it won't go because i do not have that particular amount of usdt in my wallet that i have just put i don't have five c five five six five blah 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 amount of usdt in this wallet so it is if i click on buy it's not going to accept right but just understand that you can actually be here and so this is how you actually it is pretty simple this is how you buy before you buy or sell please check here whether it is limit you have you have i'm going to make another video and explain all of these things and how to use all of them all right but just know that um most people just use market price so they don't want to get confused they just use market price when you click on you want you want the transaction to happen now 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 with the price that the market is currently trading all right so if i want to sell if you want to sell just click on sell it will change to red if you want to buy just click on buy to change all right so that is it okay so that is it i think this video is getting long i will make another video and after i will talk about how to send coins right how to send coins from one exchange to another okay see you in the next video